need you to clap your hands wherever you are. If you know that you're a conqueror, I want you to say this with me. I am a conqueror. I walk my faith in the past side. Deep within me, I strive to do right. I'm not ashamed. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to the Reflection Show. I'm over here at the International Christian Film and Music Festival and I'm so excited because sitting next to me is one of my mentors and he is the man. Everybody's been asking, who is this guy? No, I know you're what you're thinking. He's part of Backstreet Boy and Sing. No, that's not the case, but he is Vinny, a.k.a. DeMarco Fitt. Bro, you know what? Like, I feel, I, you ever watch WWE? I do. I feel like I should just like get up and like run down, like as you just announced me to go to the Yo. ring and like do some kind of thing. Yeah. Because like I just need to bring you out more often, bro. Like you, you be coming out with stuff like that, you know. But um, it's funny that you mentioned because uh, probably about ten years ago, uh-huh. I used to get um, um, mistaken for a boy band. Mm. Because you know, I didn't have the beard back then, yeah. I, went, I had my hair done nice. So like, I it's kind of cool that you still said that because everyone now tells me I look like the guy from Duck Dynasty with, oh. the, with the beard and stuff. You know, so I was like, maybe maybe Ram is feeling the spirit, and the spirit is seen through the beard. You know, and it's like, bro, I don't see the beard, I see the jawline, and you are like JT. But you know what that means, bro? I mean, that means you look like somebody. That means you you're. If they, someone can recognize you with someone else in the industry, mm. you belong in that industry. Mm. Like, I mean, yo, you've been doing this for a long time, filmed for over uh, eight years. Yes. And you've been successful at it. Tell everyone the beginning of your journey when you first picked up the camera and to where you are today. So when I, well, the first thing is um, I did acting for 10 years. Right. And then God... I became a Christian and, and God told me, you know, uh, to start a production company. So wow. he wanted me to get from in front of the camera mm. to behind the camera. Yeah. And um, I was like, OK, all right. You know, so then I, I looked at going to Full Sail and uh, Full Sail was way out of the budget. <laughs> that you know? price is crazy. I think at the time it was like 120,000. Wow. It probably went up now. Mm. Um, so I was like, well, I can't do that. And then I was like, God, I got no money to start a production company. No money. No money. No money. I didn't have like parents that were like, hey, here's some money to go do this. Um, so I literally was like, God, what do you want me to do? So I kind of put it on the back burner for months. Um, but I kept hearing this voice in my head that just kept saying, you know, start a production company, start right. a production company. So I'm like, all right, Lord. So I took my credit card out. Yeah. And I uh, charged a camera. And it was like four thousand dollars. And um, wait, you charge the camera four thousand dollars? Wow, that has to be very interesting. Mm-hmm. It was, it was, it was uh, interesting in a scary way. Yes. Because I'm like, wow, I, I just went out and did this, you know. And I'm like, I don't know how to use it, you know. And I'm just going, I'm just, you know, jumping out on uh, faith. And um, so I, I, I was obedient, I got the camera, I started learning it. And because I was in the acting industry for yeah. 10 years, yeah. I knew of a lot of local people here. So I started doing like free headshots. I started doing like free little promo videos. Yeah. And started like learning and, and then I met somebody um, that had lighting gear and um, kind of went from there and evolved but it was hard because, like I said, financially I didn't have it and I didn't have the equipment, you know. So God kind of, I got to a point where I was like uh, relying on people like for audio equipment because I didn't have anything. So people that had audio equipment, you know, they said, well, how much am I getting paid? And I was like, well, I'm not getting paid because it's a free gig, so I can't pay you. So um, I literally had to go out and I bought all audio gear and then I bought lighting gear. And then I bought, um, you know, the so kid- you hardcore invested in this. I mean, you yes. didn't pity pat. You you knew this is what you were called to do, mm-hmm. and you just went all in. I felt the Lord told me to do it. Yeah. And I was like, God, I'm gonna trust you that this is you that I'm hearing, and um, that you're gonna, you know, open the doors that you know this is what you want me to do. So you know, fast forward eight years later. Um, 
you know, we've, we've grown. We're actually, um, uh, we've won multiple awards. Right. Like we won Orlando Best Weddings, because we do weddings as well, so we shoot weddings like a movie. So we won Best Weddings uh, with Orlando Magazine, Orlando's A-List. Uh, wow. We won with The Knot. We Doing won with Wedding Wire. Um, and then with film, we won for like best short film, uh, best cinematography for like the 48 hour film festival. Yeah. Um, so God just kind of shows up and gives us that confirmation of like, you know, this is what I told you to do. And people always ask me when they see me like, man, I love your stuff. Like what film school do you go to? And I tell them, I said, I've never went to film school. And that's where you see their mouth drop. They're like, <laughs> like you know, like. Because like your work is incredible. They like, I mean, you, you never went? And then they ask, and that's where I feel like yeah. now I see that, you know, if I went to Full Seal, I'd be given Full Seal the credit. And I wouldn't be giving it to God because right. everyone would be, where'd you, go to full, where'd you go to film school? I'd be like, oh, I went to Full Seal. But now my testimony is more powerful because it's like, I never went to film school. And God told me to do this. So now God knew what he was doing because yeah. he gets the credit. Yeah. And, you know, literally God created us for like these two reasons. Yeah. Is one, to give him the glory because that's what he wants and to enjoy his grace. Mm. So when we do something, we're always, we always have to give God the glory, you right. know? So that's right. why when someone says, Vinny, I love your work. I say praise God because I'm just a tool God's using. It's not about me. Right. I, you know, he just called me to do this, but to him, I just give him the glory. Wow. I don't want nobody worshiping me. Like, yeah. we're all in this together. Yeah. And, um, man, that's, that's powerful because I don't think people realize that, you know, everything that God gives you, the gift, is to help you be able to sustain things here on earth and to further his kingdom and his plan and right. for his, for those who are poor in spirit to be uplifted right. and to be inspired and to be impacted. Mm -hmm. That's powerful. So let's talk about being here at the Christian Film Festival um, and being a part of that. I mean, you've done music video for Bizzle, for D1, for uh, K, KB. K, uh, KB, KJ52. KJ52. And that's, another, I mean, that's another, crazy. It's another crazy thing because, like, God told me to go do this. And, like I said, I went out and did it. And I literally don't do anything. I, wow. I, God's opened up every door. Like, we've done work with Montel Jordan, who's wow. a pastor now in Atlanta. Right. Boys to Men. Flavor Fest. Flavor Fest. With Pastor um, Tommy. Pastor Tommy. Mm who also wants us to like go out with Rick Warren. Yeah. So God's just like, God's like, you know, this is what I want you to do. So I went out and did it. Yeah. And right now we're nominated for best music video here. With Dayton? With Dayton. Yeah. Um, and then we're shooting another big one this Sunday. Yeah. Um, but so God like uses people, to, you know, with the confirmation, you know, yeah. of, of, um, of everything. So man, it's... It's just been an incredible journey. Yes. With the Marco film. Mm -hmm. Now, Vinny, there is someone on the other side of that mirror and God has told them to start a production company or to start a company where it can further his kingdom and they're afraid to do it. Mm -hmm. What advice as an owner and as someone who is obedient to the call, mm -hmm. what advice could you give that person on the other side of the mirror as they're looking at it? Um, trust, trust and faith in God. Because like I said, it's like, I started this production company with no money and um, and not going to film school, you know? And if God's called you to do something, he's gonna yeah. provide the resources to do it and, um, and open the doors for you. And that's why, like I said, is like, I remember one time I was getting so frustrated and, um, you know, and, you, and, and the thing too is, you know, like, you know, yeah. as a man, you're a provider. Everyone and, and, goes through frustration. Yeah, and when you're an entrepreneur, you know, and you're yeah. starting out, like, you know, you, you have a wife, you have to provide. Right. And um, so God was like, you can go out and do it yourself. Because like, before Christ, I was the type to go out and sell and I'm just that, I'm just that, you know, go and... But with this, God was like, you don't have to do anything. You just, you know, fall. He brings it all to you. Yeah, and then the times where like nothing's coming in, that's yeah. where I'm like, okay, Lord, like, do I need to go out, you know? Yeah. And and before, like, I had a paycheck every Friday because I worked, you know, in the corporate yeah. thing. And it's just like now, it's like if you don't work, you don't have anything. But God's always provided for me. And He's like, if you want to go out and start doing it yourself, then go ahead. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know what, Lord? So I stepped back from that. Yeah. And literally, as soon as I got, as soon as I did that. That's where we got um, asked to come out and do um, a shoot in um, 
uh, where was it? Where, Chris, do you remember where that was? The, where, um, oh, it was New York. New York. We, we shot up in New York for uh, FCA, the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. Wow. So it's like, you know, and I'm just like, so sometimes, you know, you, you get in your head or the enemy tries to distract you and it's yeah. just like, and that's why I said, like, God wants the glory. So it's like, literally, my testimony is, that's God, everything is God opening doors. Like, and here I am at the festival, you know, and just walking around doing what I do, and someone comes up and just sees, and it's like, hey, do you want to go to Israel next year and shoot this thing, which wow. which was Spec. And wow. I'm good friends with Spec. Yeah, Spec is and, incredible. And I would too. never ask him and say, hey, Spec, da 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 but yeah. because Spec, was, Spec has seen me done with Flame and all yeah. these Christian artists and helping them with the vision. Yeah. And God's good, too, because with Christian artists that are not signed to labels, um, they don't have budgets. Mm. So with me, because I have all the gear, you know, yeah. like we have everything, 18 foot camera cranes, we have everything. So I don't have to go out and depend on anybody and say like, hey, would you come work in this for free or whatever? Because I do a lot of them for free yeah. or, you know, to help out because I believe in the vision. I believe in right. the message. And I'm seeing people come to Christ through our music videos. Yeah. So I'm like, and God still provide through the process. That's what I'm saying. We have <laughs> million dollar looking videos because yes. God has given us million dollar homes for free. Wow. Private jets for free. Wow. I got a connection at the Orlando International Airport. He said, Vinny, anytime you need a plane or a private jet, it's yours. So I've used this hangar. We've yeah. used the jets for all these. So when people see it too, like, you know, and we're called to reach the unsaved, you know, right. like, so through my videos is what I want to do is want to reach that crowd. Right. Well, the world today is attracted to materialistic things. If you look at the secular music, the cars and the houses, the and money, all, the money. So when someone sees a plane in a Christian video, it shows the production value of it. Yes. And meanwhile, we get it for free. Yeah. And everyone's like, you got Maserati, you yeah. got Lamborghinis. I mean, you did the shoot with me with Bizzle. Yeah. We got a nightclub for free, the Lambo for, for free. free. Everything was for free. And I look at the comments on YouTube. One of them has like 700,000 views. And you look at the comments below and it's like this video, you know, uh, thank you, I needed this. And this one was going to commit suicide because we did a video on a suicide thing. And it was like, I was about to commit suicide. Someone shared this video with me and it was like, praise God. And I'm like, right there, that's worth all the money in the world. And we did yeah. that one for free, but eternally, like, that's what God wants us to yeah. do. So I never stress about the money. Yeah, because God always provides. Always. And, and you always got to, it's like a, God gives you a land and he tells you, listen, plant seed here because the crow would try to take this one but he can't take this one mm -hmm. because how deep you've planted that one mm -hmm. and he provides the weather he provides the rain he provides all of that mm -hmm. man guys Vinny said it the most I mean trusting in him through a season where you feel like failure has has is holding you captive and Pay attention to what he is saying. Follow them on Instagram and Facebook at DeMarco Films because if there's something that you want done and you want it with quality and you want it to be cinematic that tells a story, DeMarco Films will give that to you. I mean, I'm so thankful that I have a wonderful mentor like Vinny. I mean, I met him last year and we built this relationship. You would think that we've known each other all our lives. Yeah, but, it feels like a you know, But it's the power of relationship. And I always say, resources cost. But relationship costs nothing because it, the time that you put in, it shows how authentic you are and building that loyalty with one another mm -hmm. to see how can we serve each other to reach that one purpose. And that's what it means. So, Vinny, thank you so much for being on the Reflection I'm a, Show. I'm going to say one more thing. Say one more thing. I just put this on me. I'm going to just share it, and you can cut it out if you one want. One advice. But, um, go ahead. Go ahead. So, I don't know. What was it? Joshua that went to the, the wall, you know, with, with oh, the, the Jericho. The yes. Jericho, yes. right? So, so, this is the thing. God will ask you to do crazy things so he can only get the glory. So, you figure... God told Joshua to go to the wall, march around it seven, eight times, right? Yeah. Trumpet players to go up to a wall and play a trumpet. Yeah. For us, if someone told us to go tear down this building, and that's how we were told to do it, like for me, I just go get a cannon, right, and, yeah. and shoot it down. Like, that's the easy way. Yeah. But God will tell you, because it's like, so literally these people go around, and they're playing the trumpet, and then the wall comes down. Yeah. So the people inside were like probably looking at these people like, like these people are nuts yeah. you know because like when I talk about stuff they'll be like you're nuts like you're yeah. not gonna get that I'm like God's gonna provide you watch and it happens all the time so and then when it happens that's why I said is when that happened all the trumpet people or people didn't go up to you and been like man that was a great note you played on the trumpet man good job 
No, they're all in it together. God formated all these people together because he knew what it needed. So it's like right. meeting you, like I'm helping your ministry, you're helping my ministry. Right. And it's not about like, oh, you're the greatest. Like, no, God's yeah. just putting us together. And I and see him so creating this army. You know, even like I said, I told Marty, I was like, man, I'm proud of you with this film festival that you started, bro. And yeah. I'm seeing it growing every year. And it's building the kingdom and connecting people. And, you know, I don't see like prideful people here, like they're celebrities and they're, right. you know, walking around with their nose in the air because that's not what it's about. It's not right. about us. It's about it's a, him. It's about him. And, you that, know? and, and you said that power, you said something that's very powerful because Marty, yes, his vision, him saying yes to that vision mm -hmm. has allowed all our, has, has allowed everyone else's vision to mm -hmm. connect together. Mm -hmm. And that's powerful. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what people need to understand. Mm -hmm. When you say yes, there is somebody waiting for you to say yes to your call mm -hmm. because they're waiting for that other connection. And if you don't do it, God will find someone else to do it because the work's got to get done. So yes. like I said, it's like, for me, it's always been more about the message than the money because like I said, yeah. God does provide financially. But if he tells you to go do something and that's your calling, because we're all been born with a gift and a calling. Like, right. I can't sing, but you know, I could, <laughs> I could shoot film, you know? Like, that's true. So like, everyone has their gift. There was nobody that was created without a gift, you know? Right. So and that's why, you, that's why you have to live and serve with a purpose. Correct. And know your purpose. Yes. Because that's what's valuable. Man, Vinny, thank you so much for being on the show, man. I love mean, you, bro. It was incredible. I love you so much, man. You continue to pour into my life. That's why I refuse to let you pay for your Starbucks because I <laughs> honor you with everything uh, within my heart. You are definitely a brilliant mind and a visionary and a coach and a creative individual in the entertainment industry and the film industry, and we thank you so much. If you haven't heard it enough, you, your team, Chrissy, everybody, Matt, everybody, we want to say Thank you for being who you are. Thank you for having the heart that you have. And I know that your mother is always proud of you. And I know that if your father was alive, mm. he would hug you with everything that he has to say, son, you're doing a great job. Mm. And I thank you so much, man, from the bottom of my heart for our friendship, our brotherhood, and our business partnership Amen. with everything that you do. I love you. The Reflection Show loves you. Hey. And we honor you because you deserve that credit. So guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Ramsey Rizard on The Reflection Show. And as I always say, your experience matters. First of all, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Sam. I'm the best man. Therefore, that clearly states and is accepted, well, that I'm the best. distracted all night by our absolutely beautiful Meganism. The glow that you have right now that shines around you is true love itself. Your journey began in high school, but you stand here today as adults, ready to solemnize a commitment that you've been living daily for years. I'm so glad we're finally here after almost nine years. I've watched you blossom into an extraordinary woman and I'm so proud of you. We were teenagers when we met and over the years we've helped one another become adults. I feel so lucky to have had you through it all. You are my best friend. With you, I can be my complete self. You listen to me ramble, you support me, you respect me, and you're always kind to me. You are patient with me and you are loving. Hi everybody, I'm Alicia, I'm Megan's best friend. I met Megan when she was 16 and she had just started working with me. A couple years after knowing her, she met Andy. Both were perfect for each other from the very beginning. Most people dating from such an early age usually drift apart as their life changes, but Andy and Megan prove that they have something rare and incredible as they have always grown together. No doubt, go through lots of evolutions through the years and lots of battles. Some you'll win, some you may not. <laughs> but 
that you will always continue to grow in strength and skill as long as you keep choosing one another. In the beginning, I should say, I always thought she was trying to steal him from me. And now I stand here thanking you for being as stubborn as you possibly could be and for helping make Andy the best man he is today. Change is inevitable, but you will always be the girl I fell in love with. You've taught me that it's okay to dream big and then not fear life. You have a soul as wild as your mane, and you are my greatest adventure. I promise to be better for us every day, and I love you. I promise to stand by your side and to grow with you, even when life gets tough. I promise to support you and your dreams, and to be your optimism when it's needed. I promise to respect you and our differences, even if in my head I still think I'm right. I promise to have patience during the dark times. I promise to wake up every day and continue to choose you. Megan, as most know, is the kind that wants to see and do it all, where Andy is very low-key and just kind of goes with the flow. But I've never seen either one of them hold each other back or push each other too much. They always find a way to just find the perfect balance. I couldn't see her with anyone else but Andy. He truly supports her with her goals, her dreams, her cats, and her plants. I want to say congratulations to both of you. You are that couple that inspires others, and you prove that true love is possible. I love you both so much, and I am so blessed to call you not only my friends, but my family. Love freely given has no beginning and it has no end. No giver, no receiver, for each of you is the giver and each the receiver. By the power vested in me by the state of Florida, I now pronounce you, finally, <laughs> husband and wife. You should now kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs> Andy and Megan, here's to the next chapter of your lives. I wish you an infinite amount of happiness. Keep doing what you're doing, baby. Go to the money. Jesus Christ. We take it way up. Higher than that, off on a launch and lift. Off into the dark abyss, past the stars where the Martians live. Never will these archers miss their mark. You see the darts we spit at sharpened tips. We aim for the heart and hit what our target is. Like an arsonist lighting a match up and then tossing it. Onto gasoline, we're torching this homie. Of course it's lit. Like Rick James on Eddie Murphy's couch, screaming out darknesses with no remorse. We kick that grime in this pond. We are sharks to fish. This is a remix. Get a beat, flip, rip it to pieces. Get a seat, we have been a winner. We finna eat, we sitting with Jesus Dropping it for the God risen, he alive Living in the midst of the people Try me, and if you're not feeling it Then vibe really, I ain't feeling you either Whether or not you feel it I'm not forgetting what God has given to me I could be locked up and up inside the prison And not to visit a priest God willing, I'ma give him the gospel Till I'm not in position to speak You can knock it, but I'ma rock with the rock And I'm not missing a beat Listen to me, dog. I was up in Walmart with a scan gun for the canned goods I could rap good, but I did what I could for the fam That's manhood Quit looking for the quick lick Told God if you're not with it, I quit this That's when he told me, no, you just go and be lit, lit I've been on the road doing shows ever since then Tell them what I know, pray their souls and get lifted Bless them with the flow, but the goal is repentance Never get it twisted yeah. Daddy let me lose, they gotta move 
should put the burner, baby. I got the jewels. They hating on my team. Cause we the truth. Won't he do it? And we the proof. We gon' take them way, 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 way. But you know that I'ma talk back You ain't pitching, you can bark back You ain't got a ride, you can walk back Hey, we need to get the salt back Dark rap, make the blackboard And if you ain't teaching from the most high Little homie, you can get a chalk back Homie, I can never go back I was down in the gutter, man Low, low in a dark place Oh, thank God, he the Prozac Everybody gotta raise up Knees down and the praise up Lock down, homie, stay up Tell the motor there's a way up The blood we covered by it Speaking up when everyone is silent Think we don't, man, y'all confused We be dropping jewels like a drunken pirate Showing up, the party's uninvited With the Sunday fire, I be praising God with Probably leaving everyone inspired If they spirits any higher, they would mosh pit We don't really want that, do we? Nah. Man, I never care what I hate to say Y'all tripping, my sauce dripping Like a winter coach bathed in a Gatorade Ooh, flaming at 808 Straight propane, let me demonstrate Put five to the beat and do the same thing Eminem and Jay did a renegade Look up, look up, man, look at what a guy cooked up Could've took us with a beam in the touch, but no good God, that's mean in the clutch. Teaming it up with a rough bunch, and I don't play game like putt putt. Gotta let God be the gut punch. He's running the play like hunt hunt. If you really trying to have a dust up, cut your pride and recognize what just us. Plus the mighty hand of God to rock us. Swinging with your might'll get your bust up. Trying to hurt the kid to get you roughed up. Like Paul and Silas, till I'm in a coffin virus. Benefit righteous, filling it, living it, pious, pious. Daddy, Daddy let, let me loose. They gotta move. This should put the burner, baby. I got the juice. They hating on my team. Cause we the truth